you're watching the Rick Van Man channel and in today's video Rick is back on the allotment. Well greetings and salutations we are back at the allotment it's now Sunday and I've got a van full of stuff to kind of plant. I bought all my uh, little chitting potatoes, some seed potatoes, as I insist on calling them chitting potatoes. Um, they've got some nice little roots on them, so I'm going to be planting those both indoors and outdoors. I've got a bunch of seeds here as well, and uh, I've managed to dig out those other two one-ton bags that I uh, got last year when I ordered some gravel. I've got my new racking system that's going to go in the poly tunnel and that's going to house, uh, I've got some uh, seed trays and things. I've even got some garlic that I grew last year. Uh, I thought it, it's basically, um, it's been basically sat in my conservatory all year. I don't know, even know whether it will grow or not, but I'll give it a go. I've brought my little broom with me and uh, some stuff for the compost. So, going to have another busy day, so I better get cracking. priorities. Okay, I think the safest place to put this is going to be here uh, because the floor is obviously not very even. I was going to put it in the corner but there's not really anything I can fasten it against. But if I put it here it's sort of tucked out of the way and I can tie it around uh, this upright so it's not going to go anywhere because obviously I'm going to be putting bedding plants and things on there. The last thing I want is for it to fall over. So I think that's going to be my safest uh, bet. There we go. It's just tied up with a bit, couple of bits of string. It's not going anywhere. That'll be fine. Cheers. Oh, not bad. That wind's a bit keener today, so hopefully you're not going to get too much uh, wind noise on a microphone. Now the ground is, well, you can see it. It's, it looks a lot. Uh, damper today than it was yesterday. Now we haven't had any rain but we did have a heavy frost last night so that is probably responsible for it. Now um, I want to get these two orange bags sorted today. Uh, I was thinking that I would like to put them here and here but I've still got some more ground to dig away. Now I've ordered 10 more bags so they should be here next week so I think I'll put the two orange ones in that gap there. That'll give me the chance to dig away at this area so I've actually got a, a, a two meter wide stretch where I can then put another length of membrane down. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now I, I ache like crazy from yesterday because I was doing a lot of uh, heavy lab labour work yesterday. Um, but I, I think I've got it in me to uh, get these two bags filled. It's only going to be uh, eight wheelbarrows full of soil. And like I say, uh, hopefully that will um, allow uh, a two meter strip of ground that will then be ready for another length of membrane to go down. Right, I better get on with it. Yes, the soil is a lot more claggy uh, than it was yesterday. Look, it's really sticking to my shoes. It wasn't doing that yesterday. Right, I just need to have a little sweep up. I've got these now, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds so far. I just need to have a little sweep up, and I'm going to rake that flat, and then I'm going to stick another piece of membrane down. Look at that, looks like a pinstripe suit. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, that's all done now. So, I can start getting on with planting. Uh, I've got so much to do, I don't even know where to start. What we've got here is 
little box of labels. Now I've, I've packed all of my seeds up into Ziploc bags and each bag has got uh, a different date on it. So plant in seed trays in March, plant direct in ground in March in the polytunnel so they can go in today, plant direct in ground outside only in March. Okay, uh, these are April, uh, April, May. So the ones that I can deal with today are these. Let's go in here and it's nice and warm. Now, potatoes. I've got Rocket and I've got Charlotte. And both of them can be planted now, outside and in here. I'm going to experiment in here. Uh, just to see whether I get a, a faster um, harvest. Now I have read that if you grow potatoes, you know, second week of February in a polytunnel, you can actually be harvesting them by the uh, sort of mid to late April. So I would like to try that. Now obviously with potatoes, you've got to start off shallow and build up. So I think this is pretty much my most shallow, uh, what's his name? So I think, I shall plant some seed potatoes in here. In fact, I'll plant all of these, uh, all of this as seed potatoes. And then um, I'm not gonna do any root, I've decided I'm not gonna do any root vegetables indoors because most of the root vegetables, carrots and parsnips, um, they, I think they prefer to be outside, which means I've got kind of an excess of soil here. So for the time being, this is gonna be my uh, soil supply. So when I, um, earth up my potatoes. I think I'm just basically going to be taking some soil from there and earthing them up that way. I think I think that's what I'm going to run with for now. So let's do that then. Let's go and get some potatoes and uh, what should we go for? Rocket or Charlotte? Well I do half and half. So let's get some nice rocket here. That's rocket because it's got R written on it. Right, unfortunately I haven't, uh, I've never got around to fixing the tripod screw on this camera so I'm going to use my little GoPro. Um, people keep asking me what cameras I actually use um, for doing this so I'll give you a quick guided tour while I'm at it. In fact no I won't, I'll make a separate video on it because uh, not a lot of people are going to find this if it's buried in this video. But anyway this is the GoPro so I'm going to record from that. Unfortunately I forgot to plug the um, oops unfortunately I forgot to plug the mic external microphone into the GoPro. If you've ever listened to the sound on the GoPro, I'll play it now, you'll realise it's awful. So uh, I tend not to use the sound on the GoPro unless I've got the external mic plugged in. Anyway, I'll set the GoPro down there and uh, I'll get on with planting my rocket. Right, there we go. I think we've got those fairly evenly spaced. Uh, I thought I'd show you, I, I, I haven't put any here yet, but I, I've got to move the soil from here and start covering these up. But hopefully, uh, these are just a couple of inches above the bottom, and uh, when they start poking through, I'm going to start earthing them up with more of this soil from over here. Okay, so there we have it. This half is Charlotte, that half is Rocket. They've uh, been labelled up, and I've got a feeling that I'm going to be earthing these up fairly soon. Um, they're, you know, just a little bit below the surface. In fact, I think I can. Oh no, it's alright. It's a bit of mud. I thought I could see a potato poking out. But as soon as they start sprouting through, I should be earthing them up with this reservoir of um, compost. Um, got these strawberry plants here and uh, they're looking pretty sorry for themselves at the moment but what I want to do is just kind of cut the bags open and uh, obviously just thin them out and until I've got some sort of half decent strawberry plants there and just pop them in the uh, in the growing bed.
Okay, so there we go. That's uh, that's what it looks like now. There's one bag split up, and the strawberries from the bag, the, from the grow bag, have gone in there. And I had a bucket uh, wherever it is here with a load of strawberry plants in, which I rescued from the polytunnel um, last year, and they, they've all gone in as well. So I'm hoping by uh, the summer that's going to be like a little hotbed of uh, of strawberries. That would be nice. Now, potatoes. I've got to plant some potatoes out here. And I've got that same issue again, where the bed is too deep uh, for the potatoes. And obviously with potatoes, as they grow up, you need to earth them up. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about doing that, because these are all pretty full. Unless I scoop some of the soil out of one of these, put it in another one, and then later on uh, earth it up. I'll have to dig up some more soil and uh, earth it up that way. I think I'll go for that method actually. So I'm going to have a go with my potatoes in that one, but I'm not going to do anything until I've had something to eat because I am flagging again. This is uh, one of the things I, I always, always underestimate how much energy uh, you need to do this stuff. And uh, especially, like I say, I'm not in a, not in a great state of uh, fitness at the moment, but uh, this is something. Uh, I need to take into account. I need to have enough calories with me because basically my eating habits at the moment are such that I tend not to eat anything during the day and I just have kind of one big meal in the evenings. Now a lot of people say you know it's really bad for you and it's it's sort of not the way to eat. Well the thing is it, it kind of works well for me and it, it helps me to keep the weight off so um, that's pretty much what I do but of course if I'm doing a lot of uh, uh, energy you know energy requiring stuff during the day of course I'm going to keep running out of energy and that's exactly what I keep doing. So uh, I think what I need to do while I'm doing this kind of stuff is just have lots of energy providing food with me so I can top up as and when I need to. Right, let's go and uh, have a bite to eat. Okay, so there we go. Got a bunch of Charlotte in there and a bunch of Rocket there. Right, what's next? That's all the potatoes done. Actually, I've got a couple of spare buckets at home with holes in them. I've got just a few potatoes left. So I'm going to put those in buckets and uh, I'll probably grow them in here to start with and then perhaps move them outside in the summer. We'll see. Next up is onions. Uh, I've got something here called uh, Stuttgarter Giant. Uh, it just says sow in rows six inches apart, harvest when the leaves turn yellow. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you when to plant them, but I presume now is good. I'm going to plant those, most of them outside, and again, I'm going to use one of the beds. Um, I may as well use this one here. It's not being used at the moment. So I'll just work the soil over and then I'll get these things in. Right, I've got loads of onion seeds left, so I'm going to plant some in here. Uh, I don't know whether to do a full bed or a half a bed. I think I'll just do a half a bed because I've got a full bed out there, and uh, I think you know I go through so many onions a year, but not you know not stupid amounts. So I think uh, I'll just literally start at one end and work my way down. So I'll just get this bed ready and I'll plant the onions in there. These should be really easy to plant in this soil because this soil's so soft. Lovely. Right then, so that's half that bed taken up with onions. We'll compare how they do with the ones outside. Uh, hoping these are going to obviously be ready sooner, but uh, we'll have to see. 
Right now I've brought my little seed trays out and I've got my garlic here from last year. Now the garlic didn't do very well at all last year but I did save some of the cloves and these look like they're perfectly usable. So a garlic um, prefers the cold weather from what I understand so it needs to come outside here. And uh, I've got again my choice of beds. I think I will just go here. Um, like I say I'm slowly working my way up. So this one seems as good as any. So once again, I shall prepare the soil and uh, we'll have a go. Let's get on with breaking up these and seeing whether we've got some good... There's a few rotten ones on one side, but these seem fine on this side. These are about the biggest bulbs I've got here. annoying I thought I was filming putting the garlic in but uh, unfortunately I wasn't the camera wasn't on right then so that's the garlic in here and uh, I think I've got two different varieties in there but they're all mixed up so uh, we'll have to see what it comes out like what else have we got here that I can do today there's some leeks I grew started off last year and I was going to water them and see whether they come on or not. I think they might be a bit knackered, but they've still got lots of green on them. So um, I'm going to give those a little water and just put them on the on the thing here and just see whether they they come on because that, that means I've got some leaks already started. But um, I'll be very surprised if they do. But we'll give it a go because they've literally been sat in my shed all over the winter. So, growing early spring under glass or on the windowsill, sow seed thinly, six mil deep in trays filled with good compost. In fact, saying that, I think for basil, I'm just going to do quarter. I'll do a quarter of the circle there, and I'll just I'll just sprinkle the seeds on. I'm not going to bother with like transplanting and stuff like that. I'll just sprinkle the seeds on and then thin out the ones that uh, the weaker ones. There we go, basil seeds. Right then, time to get cracking with the tomatoes. I'm going for the same uh, type of tomatoes as I went for last year, and that is um, Gardener's Delight, uh, which was, uh, this was actually a free gift from the people who sold me the polytunnel material and uh, the date on that is so by 2014 so we're fine with that and uh, these two are money maker right i'm going to switch to the other camera because uh, i need two hands right. battery's just gone on the other camera so i've literally just laid the money maker seeds down and then just sprinkled very lightly just uh, about a couple of millimeters of soil over them and i'm just going to give them a little water i'll do that um, I need two hands. I'm going to do that not on this bed because I'm, I'm going to keep this bed dry because this is the soil I want to handle. I'll just do it here. I'll give that a bit of water. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to... <laughs> I need two hands for this. Let me just grab those. Take them over to here. It. It's a little bit damp, but that's, oh, that's okay, that'll drain. So I'm actually going to use a, a propagator lid as well, just to help them along a bit. And that'll end up on the shelf at some point uh, when I tidy up later today. I'm going to do exactly the same for the Gardener's Delight. And I'm literally just going to pick the, the strongest uh, plants. You know, as soon as those little seedlings come up, I'll, I'll let them get to a couple of inches and then I'm going to transplant them into probably the backs of several of these beds. Right, that's it for today. I'm actually running out of light now, so I'm going to have to come back uh, tomorrow and the day after just to sort of uh, keep up. Now, what I've managed to plant so far is um, we've got some onions on this side. I've put a few beetroot in there, a few little bit of basil, and we've got our potatoes, Rocket and Charlotte. 
and we've also got some I've got some spinach propagating now uh, I've also got some tomatoes gardener's delight and tomatoes moneymaker I've watered my leeks that would be interesting just to see whether they uh, come along or not outside we've managed to plant charlotte potatoes that's still free we've got garlic we've got rocket potatoes uh, we've got a bunch of onions and we've got strawberries so overall quite a successful um, day uh, even though I I didn't get as much done as I was hoping I would but then I seem to recall this always takes a lot of time just sort of getting all the, the stuff in the ground so I'm going to be keep chipping away at it through the week and hopefully uh, by the end of the week or by next weekend we should be on track to start uh, getting some uh, you know the, the, the next thing will be like watching out for the seedlings and stuff so I've got to tidy up now put everything away that's going to take me another half an hour and I'm, then I'm definitely going to run out of light so that's it for this video thanks for watching guys I hope it was interesting or it wasn't too dull uh, I, again I have no idea how long this video is now my instinct is generally to make sort of shorter videos sort of 10 you know 10 minutes max or 10 12 15 minutes max uh, but I people seem to like the, the really long videos so um, you know I, I'm quite happy to uh, do longer videos it's actually easier to edit longer videos because you don't have to chop so much out so because uh, normally <laughs> when you when you make these videos you end up with hours of footage that you have to go through uh, in order to just take out the juicy bits on, and sort of scrap the rest but uh, there we go anyway that's it thanks for watching i will see you in the next video take care